Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to test you on part of IELTS listening section one. I'm going to test you on the time. I hope you remember how to tell the time in English. Well, before we do the test, let's just quickly review a little bit of how to tell the time. You can see the clock here. Um, what time is it? Well, the time is 1.50. That's quite easy. But in English, there is often two different ways to say the same time. Can you think of another way to say that time? Well, the other way is 10 to 2. That means 10 minutes before 2 o'clock. So there are two different ways to tell the same time. And in your IELTS listening test, IELTS will often try to test you on that and trick you. Right, let's have a look at the test I'm going to give you now. For this test, you're going to have five questions and you can see them written here. For question one and question three, I want you to listen to the time I tell you and write it down. Remember to write with numbers, not words. And for two, four and five, I want you to choose the right option. So you can choose A, B or C. I'm only going to say the time once, just like in the test. So listen carefully and let's start. Are you ready? Number one, 520. Number two, quarter to eight. Number three, 440. Number four, half past six. And the last one, number five, 25 to three. That's all five. Let's have a look at the answers. The answer for number one. Let's have a look. 520. We could also say 20 past five. And for number two, quarter to eight. This was quite difficult. The answer was C. So that's 15 minutes before eight o'clock, quarter to eight. Number three, 440. We could also say 20 to five. And number four, half past six. That's quite easy. We could also say 630. And for number five, 25 to three. That was quite difficult. 25 minutes before three o'clock is A. Now you can see that this one was quite difficult because I said 25 to three. And here you've got the number three, here you've got the number 25, but that's the wrong answer. A is the right answer. That is very normal in the IELTS listening test that they will try to trick you and give you the numbers, but that's not the right answer. So be careful with that. So how did you do in your test? Did you get all of them right? Well, don't worry if you didn't. This is not your real test. This is only a practice. And it's better to make your mistakes now than in your test. So if you didn't get all of them right, practice. Practice makes perfect. Well, that's all for this lesson. I will see you again in another IELTS lesson.